Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Hopefully you're all doing fantastic today. This time, we have to talk about the next Battlefield game as we finally got some more confirmation and I do have some more new info on what will happen next. If you haven't already, be sure to smash that like button and the next Battlefield game might not happen until 2025, might be even late 2025 in my opinion, since they're really gonna be doing an all out on this one and be pushing into it. Now recently last week, as you might have heard, there was a new earnings call, a quarter three 2024 earnings report conference call, which was made by EA and it did mention its new Battlefield game. Now many fans are hoping to either remake a classic title such as Battlefield 3 or a new game with less focus on being a live service. I think also the biggest problem was destruction. There was almost no destruction in Battlefield 2042, in my honest opinion, and obviously, Look at what the game was, the finals, made by X battlefield devs. It reached an all-time high of 240,000 players, which is way more than Battlefield 2042, and it's absolutely incredible what they have been doing. But they also gave some info on the Battlefield game. While they haven't revealed the new gameplay yet, they have said the game may not release until 2025. And for sure, it's not going to be 2024 since we're going to be having multiple seasons for Battlefield 2042. So season seven is coming in March 2024. And they said our team is working hard to deliver the next community with increasingly engaging live services like the recent announcement of Battlefield 2042 season seven with new maps, weekly missions and much more. And honestly, Battlefield 2042 is pretty good right now. I wish it was when it released like that. Sadly, it was not. But we're also making investments in the future for the Battlefield franchise. Our exceptional team from multiple world-class studios working with cutting-edge Frostbite technology are building an expansive community-focused Battlefield universe for fans. Which, well, Frostbite technology is known for its destruction, known for showing the Unreal Engine and everything behind that. Um, and Battlefield game won't be there until autumn 2025 or even 2026 which kind of gets me worried, but at the same time, I'm hoping the developers, you know, really do push out the destruction. I think this is one of the main things that was missing with Battlefield. And the way multiple studios worked on it really doesn't mean that much to me, to be honest, because Battlefield 2024 also had multiple studios. They even had to cancel a Need for Speed game to focus on Battlefield 2042. And each single studio probably focused on its own game mode, like Portal, uh, and in the end, you just had a lot of average game modes that didn't do much of anything. That's why I personally think that the next Battlefield should be really focused on destruction. That's what made Finals a selling point. Finals would be just another shooter without destruction. And that's why Battlefield fans are returning. The massive destruction with the new engine, with AI, there's so many possibilities. In 2021, 2022, they didn't really do anything with it. Uh, they didn't really focus that much on it. Most of the maps were basically imitating Call of Duty, and Call of Duty's action point is being a fast-paced shooter. Each game has its own fast-paced shooter um, or its own selling point, and Battlefield 2042 didn't really have anything at that point. It was like kind of futuristic, and people didn't really want futuristic-ish in that way. Uh, I get that they were trying to make a bit more into the future like Battlefield 4, uh, but everything about it, not just being a live service, was really not out there. Now, with Season 7 of Battlefield 2042 being out, that's great news. There's more maps, there's more content, there's more weapons. But if the game selling point is not there, most of these maps are only going to be played by those who like Battlefield 2042 from the start. So most people won't be pre-ordering the next Battlefield game, which for me, I kind of get it. The trust was lost at the release because this was one of the most hyped up games uh, and the hype just you know wasn't sustainable. So a lot of people are not going to be pretty ordering this game and they're making fun of the new Battlefield game. I personally think it could be awesome, but it's also going to be the last chance for a Battlefield game. They even canceled their mobile game before they have to close the Battlefield franchise. This is my personal opinion. If this is like a two, three flops in a row, this is going to be really bad for EA earnings. And guess what? EA is a big studio. So of course, they're going to be making one of the biggest franchises uh, do you guys remember when Battlefield competed with the new Call of Duties? 
Look at Call of Duty. It's releasing a new game every single year. And if Battlefield wants to get a momentum, it really needs something groundbreaking uh, like Half-Life 2 did with its all Xen and lore and everything like that. But maybe we're getting too much into the future right now. The important factor here is the Battlefield game is going to take a long time to develop. They're going to take their time with it. And there's probably going to be a lot of stuff that Battlefield fans have been looking in the past for. And it's going to be here now, finally. So that's my personal opinion. The next Battlefield game is being worked on at least by multiple studios, which we saw also with Battlefield 2042. So I wouldn't get my hopes up until we get more information. But it's definitely a good sign towards progress. And, you know, one year can pass really quickly. I personally think it's going to be like november 2025 or september 2025 so it's gonna take a long time but doesn't matter let's stay here and be sure to subscribe for more content like this and smash that like button peace everyone